The Home Serve Guide to Bleeding a Radiator Getting the air out of the radiator, bleeding it, is one of the easiest jobs out there and will only take you a few minutes. If you feel up to the job, we at HomeServe will show you how. First, switch off the whole boiler so there's no chance of you getting splashed. Step 1. The Bleed Key Each radiator has a bleed valve at one of the top corners, identifiable by a square bit in the middle of the round plug. They are turned by specific keys which are easy enough to buy at any DIY shop. Step 2. Open Valve Use the key to turn the valve anti-clockwise about a quarter of a turn. It shouldn't be necessary to turn it further, but have a small container and a couple of rags handy to catch spurting water in case you open the valve too far. Step 3. When to close the valve You will hear a hissing sound as the air escapes. Keep the key on the shank of the valve, then when the hissing stops and the first dribble of water appears, close the valve tightly. Step 4. Troubleshooting If no water or air comes out when you bleed the radiator, then the valve is probably blocked with paint. Close the inlet and outlet valve at each end of the radiator, then remove the screw from the centre of the bleed valve. Clear the hole with a piece of wire and reopen one of the radiator valves slightly to eject some water from the hole. Close the radiator valve again and refit the screw in the bleed valve. Open both radiator valves and test the bleed valve again. OK, that's it. But if it's still not working properly, get in touch and we'll come and have a look at it for you.